So you want to create a MetaMask wallet, but you have so many questions, you're confused, or maybe you're afraid that you might make a mistake and you lose all your crypto. Understandably so. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to open up a MetaMask wallet step by step and give you some basic tips to keep you safe. Okay, let's just jump right in. Forget about subscribing, forget about likes. You could do that at the end if you get value from this video. But let's jump onto my Edge browser right here and create a new wallet from scratch. So what you wanna do, you wanna search for MetaMask and excuse me if any porn shows up or anything like that while I'm doing this. So here we go, this is the MetaMask wallet right here. Make sure it's this one, metamask.io. IO. And what you want to do is download the wallet here. Now I'm using Edge, but you can use this on iOS or Chrome, obviously. So let's install MetaMask for Edge here. You'll be taken to this page over here. You click Get, you add the extension, and you will be taken onto this page right here with the fox, which looks around with your cursor. It's so cool, actually. I'm an island boy. Anyway, you create a new wallet here. You can agree or say no thanks to this. And what you wanna do is write a password. Next, it's gonna give you a secret recovery phrase. And this is basically your private key. It's gonna give you a bunch of words that you need to write down that correspond to your private key. Never give this to anyone, never. You can write this on a piece of paper, put it in your safe, hide it somewhere. Some people have been known to put it in a condom and hide it up there. Never mind, let's just move on. Once you click reveal, you'll be given the recovery phrase. Make sure you write it down. And then once you click next, it's gonna ask you to put some words down from your recovery phrase just to make sure you got it right. And simple as that, your wallet has been created. Now let's move on. You can then pin your MetaMask to your browser and you can pretty much open it anytime by clicking on the MetaMask icon here and here we are we are in your wallet here again if you want to access it just go to your extensions here and just put show in toolbar and there you go now it will always be up there looking at you so here we are in your wallet and by default it's the ethereum blockchain we're going to be talking about other blockchains in a second but this here is your public key now your public key is the key you give out for people to send you erc20 tokens or ethereum erc20 tokens are based basically tokens on the Ethereum chain. This is actually safe to give out and this is also what you use if you want to send yourself Ethereum so you can actually use this wallet. So let's have a look here. Now, as you can see, we have zero Ethereum here so we can't really do much with this wallet. So let's send some Ethereum to this wallet so we can use it. Okay, there you go. I just sent myself 0.05 Ethereum, which is $91. Now, if you don't have any Ethereum, you can always go over here and buy Ethereum. And you can use Coinbase Pay or Transac or MoonPay, which actually works pretty well in order to do that. It's actually pretty simple. We don't need to do that right now, so let's continue. If you look at your wallet here, you can actually see your activity, what you did last. And if you click this round icon over here, you will see that you're in your account number one. This is actually a default name. Now you can create a new account here or you can import an account. Importing an account means you can import an already made wallet, whether it's on MetaMask or somewhere else, as long as you have your 12 or 24 words written down. You can also connect your hardware wallet here, like a Ledger Nano S, for example. Up at the top here, you can actually select what network you want to work with, what blockchain, if you will, whether it's Binance Smart Chain or something else. You just add the network here and you actually select it from this list. If you can't find it on this list, you can actually add it manually by putting the details it will ask you for over here. Then when you're done, you can just lock your wallet by clicking this round button over here again and clicking lock. So there you go, that's how you open up a MetaMask wallet. But what if you want to use your MetaMask wallet for DeFi? What if you want to make an exchange on a decentralized exchange such as Uniswap? Well, for that, make sure you watch this video right here. Or if you've already seen that or you're not interested, make sure you watch this video suggested by YouTube right here. Subscribe down below. See you in the next video.